So um, this this story is called When I Was Eight. Um, it is by Christy Jordan Fenton and Margaret Pokiak Fenton. Um, and so this is a true story of a girl from the Arctic. Her name was Uluman. Um, and she is eight and she wants to learn how to, re how to read. And in order to learn this, she has to go to the outsider school um, and learn from, num from nuns how to read. And um, as we know, when indigenous people go to these schools, they are taught to disregard their culture. She's given a name that is not of her culture, Margaret, and her hair is chopped off and she is taught to be um, different, to reject her culture um, in order to be educated and learn how to read. So this is just about her and her, um, her life dealing with that and it's just, it's also another story about how um, one group is telling another group that your ways are not good, you need to change in one way is the best way. And so this is a way to talk with students um, just about how there are many different ways to do things, there are many different cultures, and all of them can be okay. Um, that you, it's best to be just who you are and to have pride in your culture and where you come from. But this isn't always the case in our society. Uh, we are told we need to be one certain way in order to be accepted, in order to get by in life. So this is about her, and it's a really um, great conversation story starter, and it's also a true story based on a true story, which I think really engages kids when they know, wow, this really did happen. And um, so I always find that that's really a good um, pull or hook for students to get involved in the story. Um, she also has the second uh, story that goes along with this, and once she comes back from the outsider school, she um, is nothing like the girl she was when she left. She doesn't remember her language. She can't eat her, the food of her culture anymore, um, and so her mother rejects her. She says, "You're you're not my girl," and so it's it kind of shows just the heartbreak and everything that happens when you try to wipe out a culture. Um, when you try to change who people are, um, she just wanted to learn how to read and now she's not accepted by her family anymore um, because they took away part of her at that, at that school. So yeah, I always think if you can find um, stories that are linked together, um, this is still about her new name is Margaret, it's no longer Uliman. Um, and so she has to relearn her people's ways. And um, I just think it's a great way to talk about um, just how we are all different and we all, that's a good thing and that we can all learn from each other. We don't all have to be like this one single group. Um, so I think this is something that young students and older students, I would say first through fifth grade could enjoy this and get something out of it. Um, kind of taking ourselves out of our world here in America and kind of, um, well, I mean, our world just like our lives here and see cultures outside of ourselves. I think that's always really good for students to be a part of.